Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BAFX. As usual we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, as you see we had a, we have a lot of um, major impact events on the calendar. Uh, Monday uh, it's bank holiday in the US, so be aware of that, it's going to be a quiet session. Then we'll start with the week with uh, monetary policy meetings minute for the Aussie, uh, Wednesday wage price index Aussie as well, CPI for the sterling, CPI month on month for the CAD and the FOMC meeting minutes uh, later. Thursday uh, employment change and unemployment rate from Aussie retail sales for sterling Mo uh, monetary policy meeting accounts for the euro and we end the week with a very important events such as uh, the manufacturing PMI from Europe uh, manufacturing and services also and uh, for sterling uh, core uh, core retail sales from the CAD and uh, flash manufacturing PMI from the US Friday gonna be a very very important day I think gonna be more important than the uh, FOMC meeting minutes on Wednesday so keep an eye on that so as usual we will start with the Dixie chart and looking at the weekly time frame again as I said last week uh, we um, we uh, expecting a bullish dollar continuation especially now when we have a break and close above this previous high last week also a continuation to the upside and I think there is a, um, a big potential move to for the continuation toward this uh, previous high and probably a uh, close for this uh, uh, gap here the Macron um, um, gap what we call it uh, for Macron gap since uh, we've got this gap uh, after the election in France so um, continuation to the upside uh, for the dollar uh, the move looks uh, pretty extended as you see a b c and d pretty extended but I think the market may reach uh, 99 40 99 50 um, before a, a big correction to the downside in any case we, we we should be looking to buy the dips but as you see on the four hour time frame the corrections are very very shallow um, all the time small candles a couple of candles to then move to the upside each and every time so uh, expect the same behavior uh, next week i think and uh, keep buying those dips uh, the major uh, correction would be if we get a move all the way back down toward 9840 area to then look for that continuation but again as for next week i'm expecting uh, same behavior shallow uh, correction and uh, continuation to the upside to uh, probably tag uh, this high and uh, maybe also tag this uh, this high as well for the dollar if we look at the oil daily time frame we see that oil uh, on the daily uh, gave us a nice uh, double bottom here the neckline uh, is still not really broken the close was at the uh, neckline here from um, Friday as you see but uh, I'm expecting uh, since now uh, oil bounced back above 51 this was a key support level looking left so uh, since uh, the bulls managed to hold above 51 i think they will try to keep pushing higher so for next week keep an eye on the neckline where the price is testing right now this is an important level if you see a break above that look for a retest and continuation toward 55 as uh, a possible market objective and as a possible level to take profit uh, because there will be some uh, bearish fight at this level for sure looking left it is a pretty important uh, resistance and support level at the uh, 55 area yeah so for oil looking for a breakout and continuation if the breakout happen look for a retest and continuation gold also still strong looking on the daily time frame we're still inside this range so uh, the lows uh, at 1550 or uh, the support and uh, the highs here at around uh, 1594 um, the resistance so um, keep playing those um, levels until you have a breakout so for now i think 
uh, any retest back down could see, uh, could give you a possible push back up toward this area where you might see some um, bearish defense from uh, this level or if the price pushed toward 1550 again that is still a key support level and a possible buying area so right now the price is above the mid of the range and i think we may see a continuation move to tag this uh, previous high and uh, these two levels here so look for that continuation to then maybe some defense from the bears back down okay those are the levels we're still inside this range and nothing else to do until the, the price break out of it euro usd looking at the weekly time frame we see that we broke a key structure level now as you see here this was the last line of defense so after the break below this now we broke also another level and the uh, <coughs> the price is inside that macron gap right now so um anticipating continuation to the downside to um, uh, both fill the gap and probably test even lower start talking about uh, these levels we've we've been here for oh, for a very long time now and uh, it could be time to revisit those areas especially that we have a weekly close below this previous low so keep selling rallies and again the same as uh, the dixie it is a pretty extended move so we should be looking for some correction to then look for the continuation the question is how big of a correction is it only back down to this previously broken level in continuation or will it correct a little bit more so we need to follow this um, and um, keep an eye on how uh, the, the behavior is at this level if we get something like this slowly correction making some bearish flag that would be the easiest to do is to wait for the break and the continuation otherwise if we start seeing um, a stronger movement to this uh, to the upside it may get a little bit harder and we may have to use other um, um, confluence uh, with that as something like uh, fibonacci retracement uh, and so on so um, all in all the best level would be of course a retest of this broken structure level if we've got that then we should uh, look for that continuation to the downside will that happen next week well i don't have any idea if that would be the case if this would be our last low and the market start moving higher we could put our fibonacci retracement and start looking for confluence and as you see if that would be the case the 618 area is a pretty interesting level if retested yeah so uh, very hard to to just tell you guys uh, short this level or short this level you need to uh, follow these um, market movements while they're happening and uh, get your um, signals because as you see we have very shallow correction each and every time almost nothing sideways only and then continuation so if the same behavior continues you could uh, go down to a lower time frame like the one hour and play all these uh, flag breaks uh, instead keep following these flag breaks and uh, keep shorting those um, those break to the downside sterling usd the sterling is a little bit stronger than the euro as you see since uh, it, it was a nice uh, bullish week for the sterling um, also it broke above the 1.300 which was a key structure level uh, so the price is now back above it after a, a impulse correction another impulse and a correction so as far as the 1.300 down here is holding as support you could look for some more upside on uh, the sterling so keep an eye on this level if retested and failed to break lower look for one more push to the upside on uh, this market usd jappy it is um, a, a star week if we look at the weekly uh, um, candles uh, it is a star we got uh, here and uh, that showing uh, that the bulls are not um, uh, really have the same momentum as they had before as you see we had this very strong momentum to then start failing to uh, continue in the same um, uh, strong move to the upside going low to the four hour time frame we see also we had a nice impulse and the price got stuck here so this level down here is a key structure if broken i think we may see some more deeper uh, move to the downside on this
this market but as far as this holding as support you could expect this to continue higher all in all it is a uh, ranging market looking uh, at it uh, on the daily time frame we are in a ranging market we're still inside this range and uh, nothing will change until we break out of it uh, so uh, keep an eye on that and as I said any break below this structure level look for continuation if it holds and break above these previous highs we may see some more upside on um, UJ New Zealand USD let's keep a, take a look at the weekly time frame we see that uh, we have um, a very strong uh, bearish move to the downside it closed this gap down here uh, did an attempt to push higher failed to then uh, move once again to the downside since this is a, a pretty important level daily time frame as you see here still below the 200 moving average and still making lower lows and lower highs so we should keep expecting this market to push some more to the downside for now i think as far as there is no break above this previous high and above the 200 moving average on the daily this market may continue move lower now last week we had this impulse and we having this correction so wait on this and see if we're gonna get some kind of bullish flag and a break to the upside then there, there may be an attempt to tag this previous high otherwise if you see a break lower look for that continuation to happen so what's um, most important here is this uh, swing on the daily time frame as far as this is not broken we should keep looking to sell this market usd chief also uh, strongly to the upside so we had a very strong bullish engulfing followed by another nice um, uh, bullish week that closed above uh, the previous one and now uh, the the price is testing a structure a key structure area where we have uh, a lot of support and resistance as you see here so if we look on the daily time frame the price just entered this area of trouble here looking left we've been uh, seeing many tests of this of this area so where the price uh, the price is testing right now is a pretty important level if we're gonna see some kind of correction but since this double double bottom now broke the neckline any retest to that area could be a reason to look for uh, one more bounce to the upside so keep watching for those corrections to then look for a continuation as for now it is looking nicely to the upside um, on this one usd cat uh, <coughs> we tested a key structure area couldn't make a new high broke below previous structure and uh, i'm expecting one more leg to the downside toward yearly pivot point before maybe another swing to the upside the bull's been very strong in this uh, push to the upside but it could be time for some correction before the next leg to the upside so keep following this since we broke this trend line we have now a uh, nice impulse We're looking for a correction and maybe some more downside um, short term to happen on this market especially if oil keep pushing to the upside so any retest that failed to make a new high here look for um, a possible short first target down here and if we break more then next target could be at these lows down here uh, at around 1.312 and Aussie USD also uh, holding at this support level so we uh, we still see that uh, the bulls trying to fight here but they are not making new highs so um, structure wise we still have lower lows and lower highs all the way and uh, there is a potential one more retest to this area and maybe continuation what's important here if we go to the weekly time frame uh, what's very important here is uh, that if we uh, continue lower here uh, another break below this structure that will send us all the way toward these levels so a pretty interesting structure here that is getting tested and um, again as i said if um, we don't see a new higher high at least above this previous one or above this one then it is still uh, sell uh, rallies on this market so on the four hour time frame you see it clearly also the structure is still lower lows and lower highs to then got this double bottom broke the neckline and now making this correction 
if the price moved toward this level and failed to break lower look for another bounce higher otherwise if we break below that that will open a very um, interesting move to the downside with a strong momentum so the bulls did a fight here pushed higher if they managed to hold it and make another higher low then we may see a uh, nice uh, reversal from this very very important level so uh, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot do not forget to hit that like button and do not forget that if you want to trade with us in uh, our trading room at pafx uh, visit my uh, website the link uh, is in the bottom of your screen and we still have that 14 days trials for one dollar only and you can cancel it whenever you want thanks a lot see you next week bye bye